No, no, no. Stop. I said I'd let you have a go, but I told you to take that thing out of your mouth. Hello and welcome. Today, we're taking a look at the Arbiter's Quest set from Mega Constructs. We'll take a look at what you get, as well as the pros and cons of using it for stop motion. The set officially retails for $27, or roughly £25. But as usual, the prices vary depending on where you look. The set includes a new Halo 2 Arbiter figure. And just look at the wash on that armour, wow! Just a simple addition like that makes it feel like it's from a Halo Heroes line, or someone's custom figure. The model himself has a nice metallic blue undersuit, and his helmet is removable. Next, there's Cesar Refemi, the leader of the Heretic Elites. Without the wash on his armour, he looks a bit more plasticky than the Arbiter, but that's okay. The armour matches the in-game model very well, and there's a unique jetpack part that goes on underneath the chest piece. Then there's a standard Heretic Elite foot soldier. Cesar Refemi and his Elite share exactly the same armour, just with different paint jobs. Both of them have this very delicate headwear that you need to pull on over their heads, and then there's a breathing mouthpiece that fits into their mouth. They're so small and detailed that I'm really impressed that they work as well as they do, but I can already see that over time the breathing tube will stretch and probably not stay in their mouths. What? They already pop out now and again. The set comes with a purple carbine, an old school style transparent blue energy sword, two purple plasma rifles made of a more rubbery material, there's six trans blue firing pegs that the Banshee can shoot, three grey bases for the figures, and a larger grey stand with a transparent pole to mount the Banshee on, and as usual, a brick separator. This is Mega's newest version of the Banshee. In short, I love this Banshee. Mwah. This Banshee is made to resemble the Halo 2 design. Firstly, the hood of this Banshee is now a new mould which is very form-fitting. It can open, as you'd expect, revealing an area for the pilot, with a control screen and handles for them to hold. One thing that was pointed out in a comment was that whatever way you try it, you can't get the canopy to close fully when there's a character inside it, let alone if they've got the big jump pack on. So as suggested, maybe when filming the Banshee from the outside, don't put a figure in it, otherwise it'll look odd. Also, shout out to Rogue here for typing out a whole comment with suggestions on the best ways to shoot the Banshee from the outside and the inside. I hope it helps anyone else if they need to animate something like that. When the cockpit opens, it fits flush with the shape of the plasma cannons at the front, which is a nice design choice. The plasma cannons themselves are represented by these pre-printed decals. I thought they looked a bit large compared to the rest of the vehicle, but when you look at the original Banshee, that is how the design looks. In between the cannons are two actual blasters that fire the transparent pegs with the push of a button. The wings can fold up and down, and have a hard stop limit so you can't make them go past a certain point. This is something I really appreciate when they build vehicles this way, because whether it's on display or you're using it for stop motion, if you accidentally move a wing out of place, you can always put them back exactly how they were, and they'll be symmetrical every time. Along with the Banshee is this bit of extra scenery that acts like a barricade, and you can give your figures some cover. Also included in the set is a bunch of extra yellow pieces, because if you haven't seen already, you can take the yellow barricade and the other spare yellow parts and swap them out with a bunch of purple pieces on the Banshee to turn it into a heretic Banshee. This is such a great feature. The fact Mega allows you to choose which style of Banshee you want in a single set is a pretty unique thing, and definitely pushes the value of this set up. 
I will say that I would have liked a bit more detail on the yellow cockpit hood to match with the in-game one a bit more. I love how the original looks like all the armour has been stripped off and you can see the raw metal underneath. But I understand that Mega needed to use the same mould as the purple version and I think it still gives off the same vibes. The yellow colour of the Banshee matches nicely with the colour of the heretic elite warrior. Overall, the vast majority of comments about this set have been very positive. It seems like this set is in high demand. A lot of people have been saying that this set has been pretty hard to find in shops or online, so hopefully things change and people can get their hands on it, because it's a great set. One negative of it is that it includes two named characters, so if you're trying to get a few, you'll end up with a bunch of the same characters. On the other hand, if you then sell those, more people will have a chance to own these unique characters. The Arbiter's recess washed armour has made me hope that this will be a trend going forward because I think it's just objectively better looking. So what do you think? If there's anything you think I've missed, please let me and everyone else know in the comments. Before a new review goes up, I'll make a YouTube community post showing which set I'll be reviewing next. So please keep a lookout for those, as I'd love to hear and feature your feedback. Thanks for watching, and take care.